this is my Seba hike. And I'm going to explain what Seba is. And it was an hour and a half hike straight uphill in the middle of the Caribbean. What is Seba? Seba is a small island in the Caribbean. It has the smallest international airport. It is actually the highest point in the Netherlands because the island is part of the Netherlands, even though it's like across the world. And less than a thousand people live there. And you fly, normally what people do, fly in the St. Martin, take a six, sometimes seven hour boat ride over to Seba. It's a beautiful little island. It's, um, there's no natural beaches. It's all rocks, but it ends a little town. It's so cool. As you see, in the absolute middle of nowhere, and the B stands for beans, because I was there at the top of the mountain. So um, we had to take a bus ride up because it's so like hilly. So we took a bus ride up to where the hiking spot was, probably like 10 minutes. And it was actually really beautiful. You can see all this, like it's really rocky. You know, there's just like little towns and all the buildings look like this. I mean, it, you're literally in the middle of nowhere. It's amazing. And this is the entire town. Like the people who live there, this is their world. They live here and they view over the ocean. And the ocean's like 70 feet deep, like all around. I mean, they live a very cool life. So we started the climb. Um, it was beautiful, but it was hard because we had just gotten started. And we knew we that's when we realized we had to go uphill. It was literally an uphill battle. <laughs> and um, these are some of the pictures. Our group actually split in two, like the faster people and the slower people i guess and we we eventually met up the second group kind of got lost a few times we did leave an arrow though yeah it w we were literally hiking in a jungle it was amazing and we started getting pretty high up in the mountain and it, the higher we got the more in the clouds we got because the mountain's pretty much always covered in clouds and it started getting more foggy and harder to breathe but, I mean, look at those stairs. It, it was like a freaking fairy tale. It was amazing. And, yes, this is the little rock we climbed up. It was like a little side thing. There was one other area. I just don't have a picture of it. And it's like this little pedestal. And you can stand on it. And this is the highest point in the Netherlands. Like 187 feet above sea level. And we finally made it. And this was the view that we literally hiked up for in a cloud. It was like you were in an Omnimax theater, if you guys know what that is. You know, when you like, you know, look it up, it's like the screen comes around you and it's like tilted, it's really cool. And it was really windy, so if you, we couldn't stand up there because we'd fall off. So it was pretty much just like, tr like a bunch of leaves and stuff below us and like grasses. And yeah, we made it to the top. And that was it. But it was a very beautiful hike. Sorry, I got like cut off if it's glitchy. Anyway, these aren't my photos. These are ones I got off of Google. And this is Seva. This is another kind of image of the city, like their little town. As you see, it's just this little area in like the gully. And this is their island. It looks really big in the photo, and even when you're there, it's big, but you can tell it's not, like, it, you can see the whole island. Like, I went through the entire island in a day. I went on land, actually. I was looking on a boat. Um, I went on land, actually, like, two days and explored the entire island, like, walked the entire town twice. It was, but... 10 out of 10, definitely on your bucket list of places to go at least once in your life. It can be expensive, especially if you, like, fly in the SEPA if you get, like, seasick really easily. Especially if you are a scuba diver like me, definitely go here. Beautiful dives. Do Man of War. That one was my favorite. There are a lot of sharks. You can see, like, reef sharks, um, sea turtles, lots of beautiful, colorful fish. It's, like, 70 feet down. Or deeper. Um, just overall, like I don't have anything bad to say about it. Also, visit um the bead lady. Her name is Jobine. You can make your own glass bead. She she she's a nice lady. 
lady, very, very um enthusiastic. But yeah, <laughs> Tet definitely probably like the best place I've ever been. And yeah, that was my Siva trip.